Have you ever seen planets forming? These astronomers used a new tool to unravel images showing the formation of two protoplanets. Here is what we know. A group of astronomers has successfully captured an image of the birth of two planets orbiting the star PDS-70, according to a report published in the Astronomical Journal. The team of researchers used an infrared pyramid wavefront sensor for adaptive optics located at the WM Keck Observatory in Hawaii to process images of two protoplanets forming from the circumstellar disk of PDS-70. A circumstellar disk is a ring-like accumulation of collision fragments and gas surrounding a star. The material in circumstellar disks around young stars could lead to the formation of a protoplanet. Using the infrared sensor, the team implemented a new adaptive optics correction technique to interpret image signals taken from PDS-70 multiplanetary system. This new infrared sensor measures light distortions caused by the Earth's atmosphere. Sylvain Setter, a software engineer at Keck Observatory, told Fizz.org that the sensor, quote, dramatically improved our ability to study exoplanets, especially those around low-mass stars where planet formation is actively occurring. New technology has allowed us to answer a lot of questions regarding space. For example, do you know why Uranus is leaking? Uranus passed wind over three decades ago, and now NASA knows all about it. Writing in the Geophysical Research Letters, NASA says a review of Voyager 2's old data from 1986 showed that Uranus vented a giant blob of gas into space. This pocket of ionized gas, a plasma structure called plasmoid, was 400 kilometers across and 200 kilometers long. According to NASA's news release, Uranus is special in that it spins almost on its side like a pig on spit roast while the axis of its magnetic field is offset from the spin by 60 degrees. This gives the planet's magnetic field an odd wobble that scientists cannot model. As solar winds blasted Uranus, the bombardment pinched gas off from the far end of the field. The resulting leak was then accidentally discovered by NASA researchers who were reviewing the old magnetic data. In the new research, scientists dialed up the reading's resolution to make a data point every two seconds. They spotted a blip in the readings that indicated the planet was making a plasmoid. It was just as well that Voyager 2 don't have a sense of smell, since Uranus contains a lot of aromatic stuff like ammonia and methane, behavior that is shockingly undignified for a planet named after a Greek god. Also, here's a planet we might be able to move to, if we make it past 2020. Astronomers from the University of Canterbury in New Zealand have discovered a new super-Earth orbiting a star located near the Milky Way's galactic bulge, a dense region of stars in the center of our galaxy. This rare super-Earth is 25,000 light-years away. It is one of only a handful among the 4,000 exoplanets to have been detected that is similar to Earth in both size and orbit. According to their research, which was published on May 7th in the Astronomical Journal, the world is four times the mass of Earth. It orbits a dim dwarf star that is only 10% the mass of our Sun. This star is so small that the researchers could not determine if it is a low-mass star or a kind of failed star called a brown dwarf. The newly discovered planet orbits at a distance between Venus and Earth from its parent star. But because its star's mass is so small, a year on this world lasts 617 days. To find the planet, the researchers used a method called gravitational microlensing, in which the gravity of large objects bends light coming from other objects. In this case, the super-Earth and its star warped the light from a more distant star. The microlensing effect is rare, with only about one in a million stars in the galaxy being affected at any given time, according to the University of Canterbury's news release. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.